Today we are going to buy the most sketchiest watercraft we could possibly find on Facebook Marketplace. The sketchier the better. We could take the T100, but this car will be better. The towing rig's like a little loose, so it should be a little more sketchy. What we need is cover the cooking or something. Good. Open the gate! <laughs> that worked! <laughs> no. Well timed. Yeah, there it is. Check it out. Cut the old pole out of the jet ski and then I fiberglass and bolted it to this one. Oh, you could put four seats in this thing. Yes. Yeah, That's a family boat right here. So it did run. I got it to run and spit. But uh, I preferred startup when I put it um, water to the system. That's what it blew up. Oh, so you never got to drive this thing? No. Oh. The crank feels good. Right. And you feel this, you got like a little bit of ridge in here, but. This is my, this is my first jet ski project or jet ski in general. Mm. Oh, okay. Do you think you'll do it again? Yeah, I'm gonna do another uh, jet boat, but I'm probably gonna do like a 12 footer, a 14 footer. Can you tell if it's decent? Let's look. All I see is a, a magnificent chance to uh, go out there and have an amazing experience. It still needs a lot of work, unfortunately. I want to see it turning on the water. I want to see her on the water too. Okay, what about if you come down to 70? Sure. Okay, we're gonna shake hands. This belt has only fallen off uh, one trailer. Oh, well, I, I actually like that. Yeah. That's very nice. Feel, feel like feel for it. You, you're, 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 this is, this is, this is the part. Hold on. Uh, I'll start it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, this is the teamwork drive. Yeah. yeah, you fit. I was thinking about putting one more seat up there. So, Wait, one seat facing towards you. Put a, a bow seat. Actually, uh -huh. you put like a, a bench platform. Yeah. And that's where all the ladies are hanging yeah. out. Okay. I guess let's do some paperwork. How are you now? You look kind of clean to be out in these woods. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, he's got a, a video going too. <laughs> yeah, he's probably happy it's going. This trailer's slightly bigger than what my car wants to tow, but not in weight, just like size, because it's like a literal boat trailer. It's flopping around a little bit because I've been towing too much weight and my hitch is kind of loose. We've got this amazing, gigantic piece of junk. It's, it really is just like completely trash. Are you excited to work on it? Well, I'm gonna put it inside. We need to put it in the garage? Yeah. Okay, now Jacob's here and I guess I didn't tell him that we were getting it. I love how much, this is, I like just how much room you got. There it goes. Now look at this. What? Holy cow, dude. Holy cow. Well, I didn't look on the back. On the back. Okay. This thing on here. I think it was on. So maybe I need to take it off there. Yeah. It's a lovely. So this is probably what was holding us up. This is a has an O-ring on it. So basically, probably all the studs have O-rings. This is the wrong tool, but.
This is the reason that it stopped running, but there's way more wrong than just this. That suit, that piston lived inside of this cylinder and there's huge grooves over here on this side because somebody didn't put the clip in properly and it came out, made giant grooves in the cylinder walls, got into the top and blew up the piston. Now, on the other cylinder, huge, massive destruction in the down here area. It kind of looks like somebody put it together with that damaged piece like that, hoping that all would be well. We'd never do anything like that. Oh. Uh, actually, we would not do anything like that. That doesn't seem Jason, like you that look bad at of an idea. Spot. Yeah, I would definitely do that. Good. Not right do here. that. Uh, oh. Okay, yeah, wow. We actually wouldn't do anything like that. <laughs> this is the piston on that one that's all cracked and messed up, but it doesn't look like this particular piston was involved in the cracking, so it seems as though that was cracked and then it was rebuilt and then i don't even know how to describe what, what i'm seeing here i'm pretty sure i can break the rest of it off with my fingers yeah oh yes that's pretty bad i'm gonna open up the bottom end take a look and see how we're looking so we know what parts we need to get for this thing to make it work again The bottom end is good on this thing. It just needs to be cleaned and reassembled. Components that do need to be replaced are the cylinders and the piston and rings. And ideally we would get a new used or new cylinder head, just in case I haven't shown it yet. Right there, there's a piece missing out of the piston sleeve and that is not the cylinder that was blown up. Yeah, I just gotta wonder what happened to this top end. I found another oddity as I was disassembling this stuff. The rave valves, rear cylinder. I found that somebody has cut the spring on it. It looks like it was cut with a pair of snip pliers. And this is what the spring is supposed to look like. No idea why somebody would think that they should do that, but there it is. Now I've got a pretty good idea what we need to get this engine back up and functioning. I'm gonna go ahead and contact our partners over at SBT and see if they can help us out to get this 951 C2 engine back up and running. Should be pretty entertaining to see what this boat can do out there on the water with a very thin aluminum hull, rickety construction, super thin aluminum, lots of extra space for potential customizations, and 130-ish horsepower from the 951 Sea-Doo engine. This boat is very much in the spirit of the jet sail, very sketchy hull, repowered, the personal watercraft engine. And if you haven't seen the jet sail video, I will have that linked up here on the screen for you guys to watch. Also, I'll have the next video with this boat linked right here when it's available to watch. Look astern, look the weather in the lee. Blow high, blow low, and so sail we. I see a wreck to windward and a lofty ship to lee. A sailing down along the coast of high Barbary.